Hi, Dr. Shook here. In this video, what I'd like to do is answer a very common question, and that is, what type or which brand of thyroid hormone should I be on? And and really, you know, there is either a, typically there's either synthetics or there are bioidenticals. And it really just depends on the physician's preference as to what most patients get put on. And, and that's just really, you know, a, a physician bias and opinion. But in reality, there are some considerations that you need to take, uh, you, need, you need to consider. So the bioidenticals um, like Nature Throid and Armor, they are, uh, they're bioidentical, so it looks just like your, your T3 in your body. And those are primarily T3, so T3 is the more active form. T4 is the more, it's the less active form. I mean, some people will say it's not active at all, but T3 is what's really active and creates your energy levels and um, creates all of the positive effects that you want. So if you give Armor or Nature Throid, those are primarily T3, and if someone that's autoimmune and that's having an auto has autoimmune attacks against their gland, every time that tissue is destroyed, it releases T3 that's stored in the in the gland into the bloodstream, and that causes a spike or rise in circulating T3. So if you're taking T3 through a bioidentical source, you're just going to increase that. And for for some people, that creates more insomnia, more restlessness, and more of those symptoms of the uh, anxiety and the hyperthyroidism. So some people just don't do well there. Also, there are fillers or binders. I mean, how they, they keep those capsules together is that they put something in there that allows it to stick and pack together. Those fillers tend to be cornstarch. And for people that are gluten sensitive, which we know is a big issue for, for uh, thyroiditis or Hashimoto's and autoimmune thyroid conditions, for those people that tend to be gluten sensitive, they often, and if you'll look back at another video, you'll understand this. If you don't, they often cross react to the cornstarch that's used to bind it, which is not a good thing at all. Uh, so some people will do better with a with a uh, synthetic T4 and that's just um, you know there you would what they found and what what's known from uh, from research and years ago with uh, a lab that uh, one of my mentors uh, and teachers Dr. Datis Karazian uh, he and some of his colleagues uh, discovered was that people that really progressed with Hashimoto's would develop autoimmunity to their own thyroid hormone. So they would actually, with Hashimoto's, it's typically the binding globulins, TPO, which is thyroid peroxidase or thyroid binding globulin, is what you typically attack. But you can attack a lot of other tissues, and if it gets really progressed, you can actually attack your own T3 and your own T4 hormone. So think about this. If you had progressed and you were attacking your own thyroid hormone, your immune system was attacking it, and then your the practitioner came along, along and gave you Nature Throid or Synthroid, which is primarily a bioidentical, it looks just like your hormone, uh, and, and you took that, you would increase the levels of T3, this your bioidentical T3, putting a, a bigger target in your circulatory system, which would cause a, you know, it could really cause your immune system to have a much bigger target and a much larger inflammatory response. So not a good thing. So a lot of people just typically will do better with a uh, with a with a synthetic T4, and it's just a, a better way to go for them. But that's a very common question that we get, and a lot of patients say, "Well, you know, my doctor wants to give me Armor because it's bioidentical." Well, I mean, you know, it's really they have a preference because they usually just like something, and maybe they just used it and had good results with it. But the fact is, is that really it's an in, it should be an individualized approach, I mean, depending on which one's best. So, I mean, you can see maybe you need a synthetic and you don't need armor or synthroid. Uh, those bioidenticals can be really problematic, you know, as you can see from my explanation. So, it's just like with all healthcare. I mean, it really all has to be tailored to you. And if someone's not willing to take the time to tailor it to you, you need to figure, you need to find someone that's willing to try and help you figure out, you know, customized help for your body. So, I hope that helps to answer your question, and I hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, I'm Dr. Shook. I appreciate you taking time from your day to learn more about your health. If you need anything or have any questions, give us a call or just shoot us an email. Thanks.